Why is it so quiet here? What are you doing? Yeah. Huh? Are you busy eating my chocolate? No. <laughs> Red ender. What am I going to eat now? When I crave my chocolate. I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> no. I love some for you. A kiss is not going to help. I love some for you. But this is mine. Okay. You can eat my chocolate. doesn't matter. You know, I don't like sweet things. Okay. But anyway, before we get something to eat, okay. um, I was thinking of showing you something. Okay. Uh, yeah. Something I always wanted to show you. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like now is the right time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so are you ready? Let's go. Ah, the girl, the girl, the girl. Looks yes. sexy as always, huh? Give me a 360. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy ass girl of mine. Okay, let's go. So, just show them there. As you can see, the new beginnings community center. As you guys can see there. So, this is where I grew up most of my life. And most part of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, how are you? Good, right, thanks. Um, no, I'm just um, uh, shooting a video. You okay. know, this is where I grew up, actually, my life. I so, you? Yeah. You here? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. So I'm just doing a slightly a video just to uh, inspire some of the people, you know, because I've been here. No, you are welcome. I've been here. Yeah. Yeah. As long um, as you are outside the yard, you are, you are welcome. Is that? Because they won't let you in. Why? Uh, uh, you know, you say you've been here. You know what's going on here. And the rules of this place, you know, they can't let you in. If is you are it? normal staying here. Is that? Yeah. Not even just a check in your Nothing. Honor. They will never let you in. Nice. Yeah. Unless you speak to Pastor JP. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Uh, I thought it was going to be. Where is Pastor? Uh, he's now at his house. Yeah. yeah. He's the only man who can give the authority. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Obviously, it's, it's the rules. Yeah. Huh? Okay. No Order problem. Man. No problem. So, Thanks, yeah. No problem. Shut sure. Ah, so I can't show you guys. <laughs> anyway, let me just give you a little bit of back background and backstory. Okay, babe. So this is the place I wanted to show you. New beginnings. <laughs> It's a, um, a community center. Community center. Uh, they give a place for the unfortunate. They yeah. Like a uh, place to stay for the unfortunate. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you. Um, I've been driving around here a lot. And always wanted to make a video or something just to inspire people you know yeah and that doesn't matter from where you're coming from you can still make it and i don't say i made it but uh, I, I have improved and coming from a community center i think it will it will it, it will expire a lot of people especially a, a lot of younger people you yeah know? so to, to work hard and you know look look at me and see that you know this guy come from a community center we can also do it so of course yeah so if you don't mind me asking how did you end up here yes <laughs> that's a good question but i remembered like yesterday mm. um <clears throat> so <clears throat> i think my mom gave up <clears throat> she gave up on being a hustler. Yeah. You know, because we moved to Joburg. We had nothing. Literally nothing. This was like a foreign country for us. Like, uh, like going know. overseas or yeah, something. Yeah, it was like Joburg. My mom just moved because I don't know what reasons. And um, we ended up in Joburg. I was six years old. She was hustling. Hustling, hustling, moving from places to places, you know, um, I call that a jumper because every time 
to move from one room to another, another room to another, yeah. you know? And obviously that time I was young, I didn't mm -hmm. understand, I was just going with the flow and everything. But yeah, this is just a little bit of my life. It's mm -hmm. not the worst, it's just a little uh, something I want to show you. Yeah. That I always wanted to show you. So, 14 years. I was about 14 years old, you know, and my my coach discovered yeah. my mom because I didn't know where was my mom. You know, I was always on my own mission and everything. So my coach discovered my mom and she was here. She was at the community center and he came the one day, he came and dropped me off and um, gave me a Bible. And with the message in, and I still got that Bible. It's by my aunt's house. I think she still got it. But I never, I read the message, but I forgot. So, yeah, because got, it's been years. Still got the Bible. Yeah. And everything. But if I get that Bible, I'll show you guys the, the message inside. So, he dropped me off here. And, yeah, this is where. Uh, where I spend a year, one year, I think it was, yeah, it was only one year. That's where I spent one year. And my mom was here, and I uh, wish we could have gone in, but we can't, unfortunately. It's part of the rules. So as you go in here, and you turn left. Okay. So as you go in here, and you go left, um, it's the food hall. Like the, the hall where you get food on the right side. And then when you walk past, on the other side, like this, this yeah, this whole place here with the windows. Yeah. There is uh, like people where people stay. Inside. I actually never knew that. Yeah. So this whole area is like divided rooms, you know. Like small. Stay, yeah, small apartments. Yeah. So we were at the back. We were there at the back, um, uh, and there was wood houses. So we had one wood house, like it was small man, it was like half of that gate, yeah half of that gate and the length was also like same as that gate, the, 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 the wide and the... And so the maybe gate. just big enough for like a bed, Yeah, because single bed, bed to go so, in there. Yeah, so okay. we were living there and yeah man, um, for me... It wasn't something new because I've been through everything with my mom. I've seen her struggles and my dream was always to, you know, um, to do good. At that time, I didn't have a, I didn't have a dream. Yeah. I didn't have goals because I was a light here. I didn't know. So I would just be by Playing. the places that made me happy. And that yeah. was at school, by my friends and everything. So the more I was by them the more happy I was yeah you know so um, and so as I grew up um, as you guys know I was a former professional rugby player so rugby ran in my blood and I've been playing rugby so much and it's uh, started to fall in love with the game and before before I knew that he was making money I was I was loving it I was like really into it and that's where, that's where I was happy, you know, just playing rugby from the first day I held a ball or the first day the coach told me to tackle that tackle bag. Yeah. You know, that is where I wanted to be every time. And I think that's, that's, that saved my life. Um, so, yeah. So, um, being here and all, what is one thing that you can take away or give to someone um it's a lot of things man yes i think first of all i think you should be you should be how can i say you must appreciate what you have um and always strive to be better than what you need wise man once once said um, sorry. 
Sorry guys, it's it's very busy in this street. So a wise man once once said, without commitment, you'll never start. And without consistency, you'll never finish. You know, so for me, I always had that commitment in me. And I'm and I'm and I'm and the advice for me to you is when you think of something and you're committed to something, don't stop thinking about it. Go for it. If your gut tells you that it's the right thing to do, keep on pushing. Keep on being consistent. And then you will see a difference. If it's a small difference, if a big difference, that difference will be there. So my advice to you is um, consistency, commitment, and consistency. Always cherish that with you. That's what I did. And if you can see over there, so four o'clock in the morning, I would wake up. I'm, I'm, I'm 13 years old. Get up four o'clock in the morning. I would walk over there, walk around there. So the train station is that side. I would get a train every single day, just, just to be where I want to be every single day, just to be by a place that makes me happy every single day. You know so that was my first thing to be consistent and I and I, and I and I and I taught it to myself at a young age the age of seven to be consistent and um, and the commitment of me you know just to be there so I would go to the train four o'clock in the morning and I would take a train and in the morning sometimes the train is packed packed back back but it doesn't it didn't help me back from going to where i want to be so yeah from just from my side is when you <clears throat> when you have a dream or when you feel like you want to do something stay committed and, um, stay consistent in what you do so that you can finish on a high and a positive note yeah so i'm just going to take you guys through to how I traveled every single morning. Okay. Okay. I want to take you actually. Okay. Take my hand and let's go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Show me. All right. So yeah, this is where I walked every single morning. Um, the grass wasn't that big. Our government is useless. <laughs> anyway, so this is where I would walk. There's the lake. We can show them the lake. What is the name of the lake? Foxbrook? Foxbrook Lake, yeah. Foxbrook Lake. So, I would walk here every every single morning going to school. And, yeah. I mean, as a, as a, as a, as a 13, 14 year old boy, you know, walking so early in the morning, it's, it's, it's dangerous. But, for me, I didn't feel any danger because I know that God was on my side and I didn't feel any pressure. I would walk like I would walk now every single morning. And um, yeah, I, I just, I didn't feel fear. I, I was like, I was fearless, man. I was just, I want to, I want to get to school. I was that type. I just want to yeah. go to school and care what violence or whatever goes on in our country. I would go to school every single morning. So yeah, I would walk here, four o'clock in the morning. This is me, my school bag. Past the lake. Me with my school bag. Oh, don't fall, babes. Me with my school bag and with my sports bag. I would just walk, go get to school. Yeah. Okay, so we decided to drive now. But anyway, this is where I walked. Up here. And yeah. Just walk. Walk. Fearless. Though it looks like a lot of crime is going on here. 
just walk. I use the bridge where the explosion happened. So this is the bridge where the explosion happened. The bomb. Yeah. And so this train station is that side. There in the corner. I'm just gonna park here. And I'll show you guys. Okay. So yeah, there's the train station. There's where the explosion happened. So when you used to walk, did you walk or like pass that no, this road? Is, and this, is, this is where I walked actually. Right here. Alone? Yeah. In the dark? In the dark, in the morning. You know, I actually can see you very committed for like a small boy to walk in the dark every morning just to go to school. Do you know how many kids would give up? Mm. I mean, having to put your life at risk at such a young age, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing what you, what you would do for something that you love once you committed to it. Definitely, and that's what I told, that's what I told you earlier. Yeah. It was all about the commitment. And even though I didn't know what was commitment, but I knew that where I want to be, what where I wanted to be, I'm gonna make a plan to be where wherever I wanna be that makes me happy. So yeah, this was the train station. As you guys can see, there's no more trains trains uh, operating anymore. Um, it's closed down. There's still all the cables. So there's no more trains operating. Otherwise, I would have shown you guys that you can take a train. But I think I want to go close. I actually want to... Yeah, you can't go in anymore. I think they close it up a little bit. So, check the... Check, what, check the state. Well, why do you want to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go, babe. Yeah, so there, if you go up there, that is the train station on that side so i think they closed it up so you can't go in but um, i think on the other side is open so let's go to the other side perhaps okay okay cool. okay guys so this is the other side that right there is the ticket office Oops. so i will get myself a weekly ticket every monday yeah i would get myself a weekly ticket um just for the week and then i'll come up here um, as you guys can see this side is open i don't know if the gates are open there but uh on the other side yeah i would walk up here small boy I think I can imagine you walking, talking to everybody because this is what you do till today. Yeah. You walk and you talk with everybody, even if you don't know them. Yeah, I just like to be friendly. You know, it's nice to be friendly. And I think, that, you know. Uh, Hello. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm too so short. <laughs> everything, so let's go that side. Okay. So, yeah, this place is a mess now, but let's go. Let me just explain to you guys and uh, show you guys around. So, this is Boxburg Station, which doesn't look like Boxburg Station anymore. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'm just mind walking. Just step, mind just step, huh? Yeah. Um, just trying to walk careful. So we give the tickets in here. So there was a uh, security, a ticket security guy here. So he like. In his house. He would like. Um, so it was Monday to, to Saturday. He would like put a stamp on Monday if you're done driving. Tuesday, Wednesday. Oopsie. Just check, mind your step. 
<laughs> yeah, so yeah, this is where the train stopped. See, it's all Nature has taken over. It's all messed up. No, I... This is what our government do to us. This is what the government do to us. It's taking everything away from us. Back then I was free. Could drive train. Nice. Now everything is gone. Save of everything. But anyway, let's go further. Were there days that the train was late? Yeah, a few times. Then few you, times. what were you doing? Playing? Uh, or just sitting here no, and no, waiting? No, 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 I would sleep. Sometimes I would sleep on my bag. I would just chill it out, wait for it. And um, yeah, speak to a few people. Um, I'm just waiting here. While I'm waiting, I'm just falling asleep. So, yeah. So this side, so this train on this side. Which one did you take? This one or the other? I take both uh, co um, coaches. This train, this train. So the train that's coming this side coming is coming from Joburg. So Joburg is that side. Okay. And then. Springs is that side. No, Springs is that side. So, the train that's coming here is coming from Joburg. So, I'll get up here to go to school. And then, by Brachpan, mm -hmm. I will get on that side, which come this way. Come back. And yeah. this, I see this side is also like a yeah, railway. This is also from Joburg, but it goes more to Pretoria. Oh, it okay. Up to Pretoria. Um, but yeah, hey, look at this place, man. So you used to sit here? Yeah, I would, I would used to sit here. Just chill it out in my back, on my back. And then back you sit and sleep. sleep. So how do you know when the train is here? Do someone like wake you up or do? No, you just, yeah. Yeah. And then you know, hey, I need to get on. Wake up or, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, it's memories. It's good memories. It's memories, man. Just terrible to see this place like this, and yeah, I will always get like I would always get in the middle coach because that is where um, everything happened in the middle coach. So the middle coach, the the train got twelve coaches: one, two, three, four, five, which is divided. Yeah. Um, twelve. Yeah, twelve. I would sit in the middle one. Uh, so like I said, this is just part of driving train because we're staying the closest now. I started driving train when I was seven years old. Seven alone. Years old, alone, bro. Alone. I, th I feel like everything you went through made you stronger. A lot. And the amazing person that you are today. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> You, I, I feel like you are a, a inspiration to all, because coming from what you were back then and what you are now, it's it's amazing. Like I said, a lot of people would give given up, yeah. and I still feel like it's a decision what you're gonna make, and you made the you made the right decision. Oh, yes, it's, it's a lot of memories. It's a lot of memories. So yeah, I'd sit in the middle of coach. There's where the middle coach was mostly the church coach. So it's the safe, it's a safe it's spot a safe to sit. Spot. So the coaches had the, the, the groups, like categories. Yeah. Um, I would sit in the middle one. That's where they preach the church. You know, they preach. Although I didn't know what they said, but I would. I just felt, I just felt safe there. You know. Yeah. morning like uh, far I would be here uh, like quarter past four I think around about quarter to five quarter to five that's the latest when the train comes and then I get the train it's packed right? packed because mostly the people I 
jump coming from Joburg. Yeah. And most of them working here in Dan Swartz. So Dan Swartz you get Boxburg, then you get um, Boxburg East, and then you get Dan Swartz. So when the train comes here, it's packed. I'm telling you, packed, very packed. Like people are sitting on top of the train. So I was fighting to get in. You know, yeah. Stages where I like, uh, um, I hold the pole. So I'll just get in there, like the doors are open, everything. And I would just hang out there. Just so you can have a spot. Holding on for life and death. Just, just for a spot, man. Because otherwise, if I miss the, the trade, I would miss school. You know? And you so, didn't want that. Yeah. So I just pulled myself in there and got a spot, you know, fighting my way in. Yeah. And then I would go to school every single morning. Hmm. Every single morning I would go to school. I remember, I still, I still know some of the songs we sing, you know, sitting there listening to the songs they sing, like, I still know this one, one song, it goes like, Oh Jesu, 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 Oh Jesu, 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 Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I don't know what it says, but it just just hyped me up, man. So, yeah, this is just a little uh, inspiration from my side to you. That doesn't matter from where you're coming from. Doesn't matter how tough your life is. You can make it. You can make it. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't make it. Don't be afraid of anyone. Um, because God chose you to make a difference in this life. So, yeah. That is just a little bit of my story. There's a documentary coming out. You know, things wasn't perfect after this. You know, even when Astrid came into my life, you know, she went through a lot. And God is good, man. God put us in this... Uh, uh, God put us in that uh, situation to work and uh, where we are now I think I'm humbly blessed and having you by my side you also going through all this and this I wouldn't things, this things you're not used to man I mean no. yeah but we're gonna leave that for another day yeah yeah I mean you've, you've I don't think I would change any any of the things I went through I mean you sacrificed a lot babe I did you did man it just shows you how much I, how much I love you. Yeah, that was all about the love, man. And that just makes me want to work more harder and harder just to, to make things better for you, for me, for our children one day, for our families and everything. So, yeah, I appreciate you, man. You could have just easily gone to your parents, have a nice house, have everything. Instead, you stayed in a small room with us, me and my seven siblings. Your crazy family. <laughs> Never a dull moment with them. <laughs> Love you. Love you. <clears throat>